Hi, it's Daniel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created my chatbots using Python. First of all, I will have to create a file because the name of the chatbot is called Lucy. So I'll be creating a file called Lucy.py. Then I'll create another file for the long response. And I'll name that longresponse.py. Pi is the file format for Python. I'll start by importing some libraries. For example, I'll start by importing RE and longresponse, which is the name of the second Python file. Then I'll print out a welcome message like, Welcome, I am Lucy. You can start a conversation by saying hi or typing it, obviously. Let's test it and see how it works. Then we'll get our message saying, Welcome, hi, I'm Lucy. You can start a conversation by saying hi. So I'll just be showing you, not in details, but I'll be showing you some of the syntax I use in creating the chatbots. Like now I created a function which is message probability. It gets user's message, recognize words and single response. Everything makes the chatbot function. Let's continue. For this aspect, the program is going to count each word the user types and decide what kind of response to give to, to, give to the user. Um, the Python program is going to calculate the percentage of the recognized word that is already stored in the library. So it can also decide the kind of response to give to the user. So this one also checks for required words because there are some predefined messages that have required words and you're going to see it as you watch that means not just any words that are already stored inside this aspect also checks must either have the required word or be a single response and it gives a tangible response also so after that at this point this is where we are going to impute the reply and the expected response from the user. But to skip that for now. For this aspect, it needs to get the response from the user, some kind of certain response, and some characters you need to avoid, like the comma, semicolon, question mark, exclamation, full stop, I think, whatever. It needs to avoid that so it doesn't see it as an error. The program is also going to avoid either you type a capital letter or a lower case letter so it doesn't print out an error. So I made a loop function that said if everything is true, it's going to print Lucy, then get your response, then continue doing that, doing that. And continue having a conversation. It's just like infinity, you can't continue the conversation for life. Then I start with collecting user responses and the kind of response the boot is meant to reply. So let's get started. The welcome message you see, welcome, I am Lucy, start your conversation by saying hi. It's going to print out a response called hello and that's it. That's what I'm starting with. So the response is going to be hello, while in that bracket are the expected inputs from the user, like I, AU, SOP, wherever. Anything you know is going to trigger the post by saying hello, you just type it there. And if you notice, I'm making sure everything is in small letter so that it doesn't return an error since I've made it recognize every kind of word as a small letter. So I 
are going to test the program by typing hi and you will notice lucy responds hello try it again hi response hello so and this are the kind of response i brought in that i expected from humans to ask lucy so it's a distorted python program so let's start the conversation I started with hi, it replied hello. Then I asked, how are you doing? It replied, I I'm great, thanks for asking. I asked it, tell me about yourself. Then it replied, I am a boot trying my best to keep humans company. So I gave it a question that isn't stored already. What is today? And it returned an error because it isn't stored already in the database. That's when we come to long response. Most of other responses will be stored, like longer responses that will take more space will be stored in the um, longer response folder. So let's start with that. So for the chatbot to be intelligent to ask, to answer the question, what is today? It needs a particular function to know what today is then give you the accurate time of what today is so i need to import a date library in it which gets the date from the computer or whatever device then tells the user a particular day so i start with the date function which is today equals to date time dot date dot today which is the day the computer is then whatever whatever so for whatever long response like what is today is going to reply today is then plus whatever date is gotten from the computer that's the kind of response it's going to give and checking the long response it's going to import dates from long response into lucy then a normal human being will ask anything like what is today what is so once it sees the word today, it's going to know that oh, the user is asking what is today, then get the function, then give you the answer. So, testing it, we ask hi, it replied hello, what is today? It gave the response of the day this program was recorded. So, I'm going to bring other long responses which a normal human is supposed to ask the chatbot then I'm going to give a response to that though still checking for other commonly asked questions I'll have them keep adding get more questions so hoping this chatbot is going to be the best human companion you can ever have so in lucy.py instead of storing the answers there i just stored the expected questions from for humans then in long response that's where the response which is supposed to give the user is stored so thanks a lot for watching you can assist me by giving me some other ideas i'll put the link to all my social media accounts in the description below and please like, subscribe and share. Please help me. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you next time.